Colon cancer continues to be on the rise over the last couple of decades, and we are now discovering it in people younger than ever before. 90% of all colon cancers found under the age of 45 are symptomatic, and 20% of all individuals with colon cancer are found to have metastatic disease, meaning that cancer has spread to other areas of the body beyond the colon. In fact, recent guidelines have changed to recommend colon cancer screening as early as 45 years old. Because it's getting more prevalent at a younger age, it's absolutely essential to recognize the warning signs of colon cancer and when to seek medical professionals for those symptoms. In this video, we'll go over why colon cancer has been on the rise, how colon cancer is detected, and most importantly, three signs or symptoms that you should be on the lookout for. Colon cancer has been more prevalent at younger ages here in the United States for a few different reasons. Honestly, they all have to do with what we call lifestyle factors. These are things like drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, but most importantly, it has to do with our diets. That's right, our diets and the things that we consume on a daily basis have skyrocketed the prevalence of colon cancer here in the United States. Three well-known risk factors for colon cancer are insulin resistance, type two diabetes, and obesity. These are all caused by eating excess processed foods that lead to an abundance of sugar and insulin levels in the body. This excess sugar provides the structure for the cancer cells to continue to divide and multiply, which ultimately leads to increased tumor growth. Processed meats such as hot dogs, bacon, and pepperoni, as well as many others, have been shown to increase the risk of getting colon cancer. In fact, approximately 50 grams of processed meat, which is around one hot dog, if consumed daily, will increase an individual's risk of getting colon cancer in their lifetime by 16%. This is likely due to the amount of nitrates and nitrites that are in these processed meats, which are some of the most potent carcinogens known to exist especially within the GI tract. It actually places these foods in the same overall risk category as cigarettes, alcohol, and asbestos exposure. Although there are many risk factors outside of our control, such as genetics and age, there are many within our control, such as eating less processed foods, eating whole foods, avoiding alcohol and cigarettes, as well as getting the appropriate amount of exercise every single week. If you want to significantly reduce your risk of getting colon cancer, I would definitely recommend getting rid of all processed foods and replacing them with whole cooked foods. So how is colon cancer detected? Well, the gold standard for routine screening is done with a colonoscopy, but other modalities are gaining popularity, such as the new Cologuard screening method. Cologuard measures cancer DNA markers in a stool sample that you can give from the comfort of your own home. Like I said earlier in the video, colon cancer screening is now being recommended to begin at the age of 40 and possibly even sooner if you have a strong family history of colon cancer or certain medical conditions. I will definitely go into more detail about colon cancer screening in a future video. So what are the symptoms of colon cancer and those three warning signs that you absolutely have to be aware of? The first sign that we're talking about is a change in bowel habits. And this can be things like diarrhea, constipation, a change in stool caliper or how thin or thick the stool is, as well as stool consistency. The second sign is a twofer, and it is either having hematochesia or melanin. Hematochesia is a fancy medical term for the passage of bright red blood within the stool. Melana is also a fancy medical term for the passage of old digested blood within the stool. Hematochesia means that when you have a bowel movement, you have the presence of bright red blood in the toilet right after you go to the bathroom. Contrasting this with melana, which means the stool that you have after a bowel movement will actually be like a dark, tarry, black color. And the third warning sign of colon cancer is persistent abdominal pain 
and or abdominal distension. This symptom occurs due to mass effect of the tumor, meaning that the tumor has grown to such a size that it's pushing on the contents of the intestines. Again, if you're having consistent abdominal pain or consistent abdominal bloating or distension for a period of weeks, this is something that can absolutely not be underestimated. Overall, I would say if you're having at least two out of the three symptoms that we just talked about for a prolonged period of time, let's say weeks to months, it's definitely crucial that you get to a local healthcare professional as soon as possible. Thank you so much for sticking with me through to the end of this video. If you're looking for a specific topic that I haven't covered yet, please leave a comment down below. As always, I will see you all on the next one.